to meet up with family, but we are celebrating Flower and Garden Festival today. This is already my second time coming here, but I'm going to take you along with me, so here we go. It's a beautiful day. I just hope it doesn't rain. I love the sense that Minnie is serving here. It's so cute. And Pluto, I just love this one. We have the Encanto Topiary. This one is so beautiful. I love this one. So good. This used to be at the front last year. I'm glad they kept it. I just love this festival so much. Flowers everywhere. Hi, family! <laughs> we got a Lego shark. A Lego shark. So cool. Ooh! We're gonna do a treasure hunt. We're looking for Spot, Spike. I keep wanting to call him Spot. Spike makes a lot more sense. Spike the bee. That'll be fun. Pineapple promenade. Ooh, trying the pineapple wine. That is good. Got a bottle after. Oh my gosh. That's really good. I do have a little beef with this festival this year, even though it's my favorite. They got rid of my two favorite things to eat. So, the citrus wine slushy, that was my absolute favorite. I think it's called the sunshine wine slushy. I got it every year. They don't even have that booth over there anymore, so it's like super empty. They like combined it with something inside of the Odyssey building. And then the Korean short rib that was at the Impossible booth, my go-to, gone as well. But in comparison to the other festivals, there are so many vegetarian options, so I'm not too bummed about that. I'm mostly mourning the citrus sunshine wine slushy because that was so good. It's not here anymore. <laughs> we are in line for the Honey Bistro. They have some honey cauliflower that we're looking to try. It's a long line. The cauliflower is good. I think he's eating. Water? I don't know that I would get it again though. Shake. And then we have the non-alcoholic, I don't know what this was called. Peach cobbler smoothie or something? That's good. I get the hype about the cheesecake now. It's so good. That's so good. What is it? Waffle. Jalapeno cornbread waffle with a honey syrup on it and chicken. fried chicken and it's wow. really good. So good. You liked it? Ten yeah. out of ten. Got Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. So cute. And then we have Rabbit and Pooh. They're so cute. I really like Rabbit. And then further here, back in the UK, we have Mickey Mouse, classic, and then there's an elephant over there. Spike is in here somewhere, where is he? Gosh, this is so beautiful. This is my favorite thing at Flower and Garden. The tea garden, because I love tea, but also it's beautiful. They have little teacups that show all the plants that make up the specific tea flavor. I am obsessed. All the deep green plants are used for tea. Ooh, this one looks good. Green tea with jasmine. I want that too. <laughs> and we found Spike. <laughs> Where are we right now? The tea garden? Yeah. It should be the English next one. Tea garden. Yeah. We did it. Got it. Oh, wow, gorgeous. It's like unreal. It's so beautiful. Kink is over here, surrounded by tons of little fairy houses. So precious. I want to live in a fairy house. Especially that one. I want to live in a little fairy village. Somebody make this a real thing for people our size. All of Epcot is in full bloom, even pink trees. 
mean, the camera really doesn't do it justice. This is the best time to be at Epcot. There's a big Mickey doll made too. There's a front view of it. It's so pretty. All of the blossoms fell on the Mickey. It's gorgeous. We're trying to find Spike in France, but I'm not having an easy time with it. I thought he would be in here, but he's not. Okay, I think I found him. It just wasn't where I had expected, but... There he is! He's with the rose. They're behind Beauty and the Beast. Which makes sense. Yeah. Right which one is this? French Garden. We got it. So as I was saying before, last year I had three festival must-haves and two of them did not return this year. But we're about to get the one that they do still have and it's the Trace Leche. It's so good. It's like my favorite dessert here. My taste buds are like, my mouth is already watering. <laughs> wine slushy I'm missing it's just not a slushy it's very orangey I've never had like orange heavy sangria before that's good but trace late chase <laughs> this is my must-have the only must-have I had last year that returned this year yeah mm. this is what we wait a year for to come back so good. Definitely get this with the sangria. You'll be set. Here we have Miss Piggy and Kermit. They're so cute. Miss Piggy is so big. We're in the spice gardens now and Spike is with the pepper plant. Spice garden. Spice garden. Doesn't it smell like peppers? Yeah. It really does. I like I want to plant peppers in our yard. We made it to Japan. Japan is super special because they have bonsai trees that are like a hundred years old. And they've been training for years. And I just absolutely love that. It's crazy to think that they've outlived people. Passed down, I guess, from family to family. I don't know how that works, but it's kind of crazy. And there's lots of good food in here, so I'm going to get in line. And then we have the dragon topiary over here. Right here, honey. Hey, so cool. I got the Frushi last time I was here, but I also got the steamed bun. I think I'm gonna get the steamed bun again. And one of the beverages. I'm just not sure which one. I think they just finished. And Benny got the cherry blossom pilsner. You like it? Very fragrant. It's really a cherry tree. <laughs> cherry tree, silly Benny. Josh said, I told you you were silly. I do actually really like that, and I'm not a big beer person. It's like sake and juice. It's really good, right? I was in giant hand. You took your tummy out. I love it so much, I can't even explain to you how much. So, this one is 35 years old. That one is 18. It's 10. And that one is 25. They usually have ones that are like very, very old. So, I wonder if they're somewhere else. I always think of Avatar when I see Koi fish. Lost my family looking at the bonsai trees. Oh, but there's more bonsai trees over here. I'm sorry. I, I just love it. I think these may be the older ones. This one's 35. Oh. That one is 75 years old. That's so crazy and it looks so good. 
degree in training for 18 years. I wonder what training entails. Let me know if you guys know. Oh, sorry, if you don't care about the bonsai tree. It's so pretty. It's sporty. So good. So pretty. Oh, there's my family. It looks like they found Spike. So pretty. Wait, wait, we already did it. We already did it. I was not here. You already did the sticker? No. Oh, okay. He did with me. Look how pretty. There's Spike with the Ira. The name of a Pokemon character. Iris. <laughs> the dragon training. One of the best. We'll put it where it goes. Right here, this one. Pokedama Garden. Yay! Almost halfway done. It's a little bit of Mickey. Brief intermission to go in my favorite store in Epcot, the Mitsukoshi store. Japan is, I think, my new favorite country because it's just so good all the time. It's so beautiful. Anna, how's it? It's got lots and lots of Pokemon. Nintendo, Mario, Kirby. They usually have some more interesting ones. We just have Charmander today. And Pichu, which is actually really cute, and they're so soft and squishy. It's a Chikorita! Such a cutie pie. Aww, they have a little blue light. Oh my gosh, the Yoshi backpack. One time I came in here and I got Piplup, and they've had Mimikyu, and then I really regret that I didn't get um, Oh gosh, which one is Maze? The little firebird, Torchic. They have a Torchic and I regret not getting it. And then everything over here is super cute but super expensive. Even the onesies are like $100. Mm. Okay, found some more bonsai. That one is $19. Ooh, this one is $60. And that one is $65. And then this one over here is going downwards. That's crazy. This one's 22 so, yeah, she's so beautiful and Spike is here, but I lost my family again. Spike is here with the magnolia next to Tia. That makes sense. <laughs> we made it into Italy now. <laughs> Lady and the Trip is so cute. Italy never fails to be the hardest place for the scavenger hunt because they really do move it around a lot. Um, we haven't been able to find it yet and we went all the way back in there, but sometimes they're down here by the boat. Might have to ask for help with this one. I wish I could make this like 4D so you could smell the flowers because it's so amazing. Spike is nowhere to be found. I don't know where it is. We found him. This one was tricky because he's actually not in Italy. The Italian garden is apparently located in Germany across from the train. So he's with the basil. I do love basil. It smells so good. The basil? Mm hmm We're almost done. Snow white here. And then the seven dwarfs. They're so cute. We're in front of the bathroom too in Germany. Little gnomes. Cute. cute. Spirit jersey. I do really like this cup. Ooh, I haven't seen this. This looks like the inside of my lug bag. Is this corksicle? No. Yeah, it is. So cute. Ooh, I love that. Look at the lid. So cute. Should we get this? I think Jim needs. We get that one. Get rid of five. Five. <laughs> The trash can. I was gonna, I was gonna get the trash can until I saw this. And I bought this the last time I was here. The shirt I'm wearing today. And the ears. This is adorable. A little pond. And then this is like a lantern, I think, for your yard. There's a little light inside of it. 
I just really love the colors they did this year with that light blue. <laughs> Adorable, and it has little oranges on the strap too, which I really like. <laughs> so cute. And then this was selling, but I haven't seen it. I think it might have sold out, but love the lug bag. Uh, got the pandas, looking for Spike, and he's not here. Okay, so we just went to Lotus House in China and got the vegetable dumplings. They're so tiny, so I hope they're at least really good. And you got okay. jasmine beef. Ooh, can I try it? It reminds me of Uncle Iroh. <laughs> <laughs> but I could also. I do like that. I might like that better than the cherry blossom one. Me too. And then I got a boba tea, and it's got like something sparkling or fizzy in it. It's a mango bubble tea. It's very good. That is good. They did really good being vegetarian friendly this year. I'm really surprised. I like that a lot. Very good. Just put in a mobile order for the Orange Bird waffle that they have in Connections Eatery. Um, so I can pick that up within the next 10 to 45 minutes. So whenever we get over there, it should be ready to go. It's literally already pre-made in a plastic wrapper, so I don't think it should take much time for them to actually make it. Anna and Elsa, they're my favorite topiary, I think, just because who doesn't love sisters? They're so cute. They look really good this year, too. Beautiful. We found Spike. How pretty. We were right here earlier and didn't see Spike somehow, but he's with the sunflowers. This one? Mm. The picnic. Hey, three more. We've got the cutest little waffle from Creations Eatery. I'm such a sucker for orange bird. I've had one of these special waffles before and it was delicious, so I have high hopes. And here is Donald. Here. Tomato. Huh. Love it. Okay, we found Spike in the playground. So, we know which one goes in Butterfly House, but I want to go over there anyway. So. Can't come to the Flower and Garden Festival and not see the butterflies. That was so good. It's a lot of orange sugar. They're really messy. Look at this mess. <laughs> messy eater. They're so cute and pretty. I love this. We got Timon and Pumbaa over here. I don't remember ever seeing them before. We're walking up to one of my other very favorite things about this festival. Between the butterfly landing and the tea garden. Those are my two favorite things. Um, so I'm really excited. And we found the very last spike that we had to find. This is the moment. <laughs> All the... Wow. <laughs> They're gonna turn into beautiful butterflies soon. See, they could do the butterflies. Another hidden rock, Mickey. Really? We need to plant some milkweed for the butterflies. Mm. This butterfly is made out of succulent. Look at all of them. Incredible. Spent a lot of time in there and there's just something that it does for your soul to be around that many butterflies and plants and just it feels so nice. Um, we are winding down on our Epcot day. We just got to go get our prize for completing the scavenger hunt. Oh they're so cute. There we go. I feel like the bee is so cute. Oh, yes. We were looking for bees. I think we're gonna do the spike one. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. You guys are all good Thank too. Thank you so much. I'm putting this on my mantle. <laughs> Tiny little cornhole. We have to play it later. We're opening our prize and seeing that it has little tiny bags so we can literally play cornhole with it. That's so cute. Oh. We're gonna celebrate our cornhole with. 
to be beer flight. Here's our flight. These are the three. I was really thinking that the violet lemonade one would be in here, but it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the violet lemonade. I'll be right back. Yeah, much better. The violet lemonade ale. Much more my speed. You can tell by the color. <laughs> it is a very pretty color. Cheers. <laughs> That is a wrap on our day here at the Flower and Garden Festival, my favorite festival. I hope you enjoyed following along with us and I hope you have an amazing couple days ahead until I see you again. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.